OK, we're going to look ahead um, to ITV, um, quarter three update on Wednesday. And it's been quite an interesting stock, quite volatile. Yeah, it's been uh, all over the place, yeah. basically. Yeah. Uh, I think twice it's come near five year lows before just about bouncing off. Um, yeah, it's half your figures in July. They were good. I think uh, its share of viewing was up 9%. Uh, that was largely thanks to the World Cup. You mm -hmm. know, it saw huge numbers for England versus Croatia. I think that was the high, most watched thing this year, yeah. like 26 million viewers, something like that. And Love Island. Love Island was on at the same time. Yeah. It was a huge boost. I think that led... Um, my TV studio's revenue was up 16%. Advertising revenues for the uh, for the half so were up 2% with a 48% surge online. Uh, total revenues were up 8% to just shy of 1.6 uh, billion pounds. I think pre-tax profit was up 2% to maybe 297 million pounds as well. You know, really strong figures. Uh, it also outlined its sort of spending for the next three years. I think it intends to spend 60 million pounds over the next three years, largely on upping its sort of production of programs and improving its ITV hub, which whilst free uh, in the UK, I think it's like four pounds a month elsewhere internationally. So I think that's something they're looking to expand. Ditto, there's been a lot of chatter from ITV about forming some kind of UK-based subscription service, maybe with BC, uh, BBC and Channel 4, maybe not, it depends on how much they play ball, to try and take on Netflix and Amazon and sort of right. shore up the UK side of TV and, you know, traditional terrestrial TV, I guess now digital TV, yeah. uh, against sort of the, the onslaught of of distractions provided by Netflix and Amazon. Yeah. Uh, in terms of its uh, third quarter figures, advertising revenue is expected to be basically flat year on year uh, with, you know, the, I think they blame the sort of the backdrop of economic uncertainty. The third quarter is going to be interesting because obviously those half year figures were significantly improved by the dual boosts of the World Cup and Love Island. Yeah. The third quarter hasn't really had anything like that. So it's, I guess it might give a, a more accurate reflection of where ITV is on just a basic level without without sort of those fairly anomalous yeah. major events. In terms of what our clients are doing, you know, it's fallen really, really sharply in the last few months. I mean, like I said, nearing five year lows. But our clients are pretty aggressively buying around the 150 mark. I think they're they're perhaps thinking it's fallen far enough and you know the slightest beat in terms of advertising revenue on Wednesday could cause a leap from ITV. And I think that is why our clients, like I said, are buying so heavily around 150. Okay, we'll wait and see. Thanks, Connor.